Hey Crossword fans! Today we're going to be solving the New York Times crossword for Monday, March 22nd, 2021. All right, let's get started. Okay, one across, quick punch. I guess that could be a jab if we're talking about boxing. Let's try to build off that across here. Door parts? Uh, that could be door jams. It's kind of like the area around the door, right? Bitter Italian liqueur. Bitter. Hmm. I'm not sure if I know that one off the top of my head. Removed with the teeth. I guess... With with this clue, you gotta be careful here. Removed is past tense, so that means the answer is gonna have to be in past tense also. So I think it's gonna be bit off instead of bite off. Yeah. Makes that past tense agree. Yeah, that's good. Friend in France? Yeah, that's Ami. I don't know much French, but I do know the word for friend. Mother Hen's responsibility. I guess that's her brood, right? That's all her little chicks. Couch. So that's just a sofa. Nice and easy. All right, this is looking like it might be Amaro. I maybe have heard of that. I'm not 100% on it though. So let's look at this long answer. This might be our first theme answer here. Collectible toy vehicle. Hmm. Is it, is it like a metal die cast? Or maybe is it a Mattel, like the toy brand? Hmm. I'm leaning towards a metal, but then this would be EOA and that seems very unlikely. Classic eyes for Frosty. He had eyes made out of coal, right? So it could be coals, plural. Oh, is it matchbox cars? There we go, that makes a lot more sense. Okay, so it was Amaro after all. Okay, that's good. All right, nice. This X is looking pretty juicy over here. Let's see what that is. Expert. Hmm. And it ends in an X, interesting. Is this like an expert in an area of knowledge or something? Hmm. I'm not sure what this is going to be. Stop on a drinker's crawl. I guess that would be a pub, wouldn't it? Because it's usually a pub crawl. Oh, <laughs> it's because. Okay, here we go. It's matchbox cars. There we go. That was causing some trouble there. And th this isn't plural. Yeah, that's why I had it messed up. I was thinking it needed to be plural. Okay, so now that we have everything spelled correctly, I think we can continue. Okay, so this is pub. Yes, that's good. Expert pro. There we go. Now things are starting to fall into place. Yeah, it's that weird feeling when you get answers that you know should be right, but they're not fitting in. That's usually a sign to remove something that you probably have wrong. Okay, not stringently enforcing the rules. Okay, that's lax. All right, there we go. I was surprised we couldn't build anything off of the X here, so that was the first sign that something was wrong. Okay, submitted a resume. I guess that's applied. And then what do we have here? Comedian Jimmy who joked of his schnozola. Hmm. Is it like Durant or something like that? I feel like vaguely I have maybe a memory of hearing that name. Condition that affects concentration for short. Yeah, that's ADHD, right? Attention deficit hyperactive disorder. So I guess I want this to be an N if my first guess at that name is right. Nighttime demons. I guess that's incubi. Ooh, that's a fun one. I really like that fill. That's really kind of nice and scary. That's cool. And then maybe this would be a T here? Greek letters that rhyme with three other letters. Eta, maybe? Eta, beta. I don't know what the other two that it would rhyme with would be. Hmm, but I think that's probably pretty likely, Eta's. And then I'm not sure what the last letter here would be. An I or an E, maybe? Laura with an Oscar and an Emmy. Oh yeah, Laura Dern. Oh, she's delightful. 
Dr. Sattler in Jurassic Park and Citizen Ruth and just tons of other movies. She's always just so good in any movie she shows up in. Okay, military branch with dress blues and dress whites. I guess that's US Navy. Bygone Swedish auto. Is it Saab? Do they not make Saabs anymore? Hmm, I don't know if I heard about that. Let's build back up into this corner here. Prank interviewer who referred to Buzz Aldrin as Buzz Lightyear. <laughs> yeah, that was definitely Ollie G. That's the Sasha Baron Cohen character. Yeah, I think um, I think Buzz Aldrin took that in stride if I remember correctly. Okay, energy efficient illumination sources for short. I guess that would be LEDs, light emitting diodes. Yeah, they're very energy efficient. So-called Sin City, that's Las Vegas, right? Home of the Venetian, as we learned the other day. Old fashioned record collection for short. It's probably LPs, long plays. It's another way of describing a record that you would play on a record player. The A of IPA, that's gonna be ale, right? IPA stands for India Pale Ale. Now they're usually very hoppy. Health class subject could be sex. Yeah, usually you get sex ed in health class. So what is this gonna be then? It can't be sex. You can't have the same answer in the puzzle twice. So maybe it's gonna be socks, like the red socks or something? Uh, no, it's gonna be sax. A long bodied jazz instrument for short. Saxophone. Tots time together is gonna be a play date. Mm -hmm. That's a cute entry in the grid too, I like that. It's just, sometimes it's just nice when there's like a little bit of like, like incubi and play date. They're just sort of fun little pieces of language that you don't hear all the time. And they're kind of either cute or scary in this case. Okay, contents of some drifts. Well, there's snow drifts, isn't there? Yeah, we just finally had the last of our snow drifts melt this week. Use needle and thread, so, okay, yeah, that looks good there. So that's right. Flowing musically. Mm, this is gonna be some kind of Italian music thing. Maybe legato. I don't really know those Italian musical terms very well. Okay, birthplace of General Motors. Yeah, that's definitely Flint, Michigan, right? Yeah, that's where Michael Moore made all his movies about GM kind of dying. Yeah, Flint, Michigan. Okay, imbecilic. Hmm. That could be inane, maybe. Yeah, it's like kind of stupid, right? Person who might bother a bedmate. <laughs> yeah, that'd be a snorer. Don't want to share a bed with a snorer. Elemental part of an element? I guess it would be an atom. It's like the smallest bit of something, although there's smaller parts of atoms, but yeah, traditionally that's kind of the smallest bit of something. Band-Aid. Oh, this is interesting. This is this is almost an unindicated wordplay clue. They don't usually have these on Monday. It's kind of cool to see that because on its face, you would think this would mean a Band-Aid, right? Like something that you would put on a cut but it's actually something that aids a band, a musical band. So that would be an amp. Yeah, that's a nice one. I like that. Uh, and then snoop for nosy sort. Yeah, that looks good. White blank of Dover. Well, I've heard the white cliffs of Dover. I don't really know what they are. They sound pretty though. I'm imagining they're in the UK somewhere. Artist Matisse, oh, that's Henri. Yeah, French spelling of Henry. Family could be kin. Mm-hmm. Door part, another door part. It's singular this time, it's not gonna be plural. I guess it could be a knob. Yeah, we're just missing the like, I don't know, keyhole or something, and then we'd have the whole door. Okay. Prefix with red or structure, maybe infra, infrared and infrastructure. Yeah, that works. Rageaholic state, I guess. 
I guess you'd be in a state of ire if you're a rageaholic, right? Yeah. Okay, let's see if we can get this last theme answer here, maybe, or maybe second to last theme answer. Certain online dating bio. Well, it looks like it's gonna end in profile, right? Maybe it's a Tinder profile? Because they're asking certain online dating bio. So certain online is like, they're asking for a specific one, not like a generic dating bio thing. So yeah, we're specifying Tinder here. Okay, so it's looking like I'm seeing something in common with these three answers. Have you guys noticed it yet? It's the beginning word of each answer, I think. Match, Flint, and Tinder. Those are all things you use to light a fire, right? Yeah, I think we're gonna have a fire starter theme here. Let's take a quick look at this last one. It's either gonna be a revealer or maybe a fourth theme answer probably. Okay, 1980 Stephen King novel or a hint to the beginnings of 17, 29, and 45 across. Yeah, I actually don't think I've heard of this novel, but I imagine it's called Firestarter. Nice, that's a great Monday theme. This is perfect. Not only are these fire starters literally, like they start fires, you use these devices to start fires, but they are also fire starters at the start of each clue, which is really nice, or at the start of each answer. Yeah, that's a, another nice little detail that they were consistent with. What a great Monday theme. That's just perfect. That's I'd love to see it. Yeah, that's so nice. All right, famous almost last words from Caesar. That's et tu, right? It's Latin for and you. He said it to Brutus who had was supposedly his friend and betrayed him. Those who are not among us, or are they? ETs, yeah? Kind of hold out hope that maybe there's ETs around somewhere, although it's probably pretty unlikely. All right, here, you'll like it. So a clue in quotes like this, they're asking for a phrase that's equivalent to this phrase. So here you'll like it. Um, maybe try one is a phrase that means the same thing. Yeah, yep, that means almost the same thing. Okay, security alarm trigger. Um, maybe a trip wire. Yeah, you see those in movies all the time, right? In like diamond heists. Okay, they establish order in language classes. Hmm. This is gonna be some kind of grammar word, I think. I'm not sure if I know this one. Yeah, it's looking like synonyms, but I know that can't be what it is. No more than up to and not more than, yeah. Skunk funk will be an odor, yeah. Maybe it's syntaxes. Yeah, that makes sense. And then we've got a nice X down here again too. Predicament, uh, I guess you're in a fix if you're in a predicament, yeah. Preceding poetically, air, right? That's a word for before. You called, yes, maybe? Another equivalent phrase here, very short one. Funny Tina Fey. Yep, she was on SNL, right? Okay. Bird song could be a warble. This is another great ent entry into the grid here. Yeah, there's been a lot of nice language. Syntaxes is good too. Yeah, this is really nice. Tightest of pals in brief. I guess that could be BFFs, if you're best friends forever. Your tightest pals. Old Italian money would be Lira, I think. I always forget if it's an A or an E. I think it's Lira in Italy. Glittery dress adornments. Hmm. No, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it is an E, because then it could be sequins, right? For glittery adornments. Yeah. This is looking like it's going to be prereq, right? Algebra for calc, e.g. 
Yeah, that's a prereq, a pre-requirement. This is a nice example of the answer needing to be abbreviated because there's an abbreviation in the clue, this calc here. It should be calculus, right? But it's abbreviated. So that means they want just an abbreviated term in the answer. So it'd be prereq instead of prerequisite. Flipped out. I guess it could be freaked. And when you have a word in parentheses after a word in a clue like this, that means that word needs to be able to go at the end of your answer and still make sense. So flipped out works and freaked out works too. So yeah, that confirms it. Blokes could be lads. It's kind of like a British slang, right? Both of these. That's another nice thing here is, um, yeah, there's kind of like a regional dialect going on in a clue. That means they're going to want that same sort of dialect happening in the answer also. So that's a nice, yeah, two kind of British slang terms. Sierra blank, African land. Isn't it Sierra Leone? Yeah. Um, tree in a tree in the birch family. Hmm. Is it like a specific species of birch tree? Is it an altar? I don't know if I've heard of that. Like art that might offend prudish sorts. <laughs> Uh, probably erotic, yeah. Prudes don't like anything sexual, right? They, s they skipped sex ed on that day. Okay. Investments with account numbers. Hmm. Maybe CDs? Certificates of deposit? Yeah. That would make sense. Okay. Without interruption. Maybe on end? It's like without stopping. Hmm. Yeah, squid's defense. That could be ink, right? They squirt ink when they're startled or something. Corner offices and prime parking spots for company VIPs. Those are all perks, right? At a company, if you get those, that's a perk. Okay, plummet could be drop. So it's, I guess it's alder, an alder tree. Yeah, I've never heard of that. All right, let's see if that finishes off the puzzle for us. Very nice. Wow, this was such a nice, smooth Monday puzzle. That was just so delightful. Yeah, this is exactly what you want a Monday to be. This great theme, fire starter, tied into a, a book title, and it also describes what's going on with the theme. It's wonderful. Yeah, and there were so many fun entries in the grid. Warble. Sequins is nice too. Erotic is a little spicy. Yeah, play date. Loved it. Yeah, and not too much proper noun stuff clogging up the grid. It's so fun. What a great puzzle. Well, I hope you enjoyed solving that along with me. I'm going to be coming back at you tomorrow for the Tuesday puzzle. And yeah, I think that's going to do it for now. All right, I'll see you next time.